amigos da Best Swimming, Best Camp, estamos falando aqui na portinha do Parque Unido. Hoje foi um dia de uh, fazer uma vistoria exatamente na posição onde vai ser a transmissão do Sport TV, é uma visita, e olha, já tinham aí pelo menos umas 20 ou 30 delegações já treinando, poucos atletas, mas já tinham bastante países ali ao redor da piscina, treinando e tal. Eu vi do, pelo menos dois nadadores que a gente poderia dizer que já são candidatos à medalha dos, dos tantos que estarão nas Olimpíadas. O primeiro foi o, o argentino Federico Gravit, que foi o, o primeiro e único argentino que chegou até agora, e depois a Katinka Rossu. Katinka Rossu, dama de ferro, sua quarta Olimpíada, nunca ganhou uma medalha olímpica. Já ganhou tudo, né? Campeão mundial de curta, de longa, recordista mundial, 18 recordes mundiais, mas medalha olímpica ela não tem nenhuma. E a Katinga Rossu deu uma entrevista para nós, ela, a, o Shein Tussu é, foi bastante gentil, Katina veio conversar conosco, que eu vou apresentar a entrevista na íntegra. Só que a entrevista está em inglês, e nós não vamos traduzir. Aliás, durante a Olimpíada a gente vai apresentar várias entrevistas, e infelizmente pelo tempo, até para a gente coloca as coisas no ar, não vai dar tempo para traduzir. Mas eu destaco algumas coisas importantes em relação à entrevista da Katinga Rossu. A primeira delas é de que ela falou que vai nadar seis provas, cinco provas individuais, mais um revezamento 4x200 livre. É uma novidade, hein? Mais uma prova para a Catinga. Esse revezamento da, da, da Hungria, por sinal, foi campeão europeu em maio. Ou seja, a Catinga nada a cinco provas individuais, mais um revezamento. A outra é que ela disse que quase deixou de nadar. E só não deixou de nadar entre aquele, vamos dizer assim, fracasso de ter sido quarta colocada fora do pódio nos Jogos de 2012 até agora, graças ao seu marido, Shen Tussu. E esse fracasso foi exatamente... Shen Tussup, que transformou o fracasso num quarto lugar, quarta melhor nadadora do mundo. Ele fez, mostrou a ela a importância de que era ser quarta melhor nadadora do mundo. Com todas as conquistas, a Katinka continua simples, aberta, fala assim, de uma forma muito tranquila sobre os seus planos, está adorando, chegou ontem, já treinou ontem e hoje volta, está treinando nos horários da competição, ou seja, treinou eram por volta de uma e meia da tarde, volta às dez da noite e vai seguir esse programa. A Katinka Rossu é das, a única nadadora da Hungria presente. Os nadadores da Hungria ainda não chegaram, estão ainda talvez em algum training camp. Mas aqui, no Rio de Janeiro, apenas a Katinka Rossu e o seu técnico, o Shen Tussu. Vale a pena conferir. Essa é a Best Camp. Best Camp Olímpica, diretamente do Rio de Janeiro. Hello. Hi. Hey, Katinka. Okay, good to see you, bro. Thanks for coming. Huh? Yeah, no problem. So, uh, so welcome to Rio first. Huh? Thank you. So we'd like to check. Or so five events. What do you think will be not enough? All eight days and five events. A little bit harder. What do you think? I sure not. <laughs> you know, I've been I've been training for that. Obviously, the past two world champs, uh, I've been swimming six events. So, I think I'm ready for for that. It exists a, po a possibility for you to also to swim the 4x2? Yeah, actually I am swimming the 4x2. So your total will be five individual and one relay? Man, one relay, yes. That's correct. About the pool, I think? Uh, I think it's great so far. I've been swimming twice here. Only last night we came in and we swam a little bit. I was by myself, so I haven't got, you know, that big of excitement yet. But it's definitely a great venue and the uh, pool feels pretty fast. So. Everything is great so far. I think uh, you haven't achieved any medal in the Olympic story. Uh, is this a dream for you here? To conquer one, two, three, or five? You maybe? know, for me, it's going to be just another race. Uh, I definitely want to have fun. Obviously, I want to get out there and you know try to win, as I always do. Uh, I definitely will give my best and I will try my hardest. Uh, obviously, it would be awesome to be on a podium. It seems incredible that an athlete of your talent has never won an Olympics. Uh, title after three games. Surely it's your time now. <laughs> yeah, if not now, then in Tokyo, right? Uh -huh. you'll, you'll be there in Tokyo as well. I would like to, yes, that's my goal to be in Tokyo. I will be continuing um, practicing and racing just as well as I was the past four years. Um, so yeah, I would. I want to be in Tokyo. Can you give us your, your ambition for these games? What would you be happy with to come away with? Honestly, uh, going into London. Um, I was just finishing off my college career, and that was kind of the year when I was uh, that was the year when I was turning pro, and I felt like that's my time. And you know, it's kind of a now or never. Uh, in Hungary, if you don't have an Olympic medal, you don't 
really continue to sport, you usually you know choose another path and you start your um, your other career. Um, and you know, for me, I was super nervous in London. I felt a lot of pressure, and uh, I definitely didn't feel like I I gave my best that I could have. I didn't really, I didn't just get out there and race uh, as I did the past four years after London. I was really uh, feeling the failure. And, um, you know, after London being fourth, being so close to the podium and just experiencing that and, and uh, living through that and learning a lot from that uh, failure, I've been, I've been free um, and, you know, I just want to get out there and have fun. And uh, if I can do that and I can just be myself and race as I've been the past four years, then, then I'll do good. Are you a different, really... a different athlete to 2012? <laughs> completely I, def athlete. I, I'm, I am definitely learned a lot. Um, you know, it's crazy that it is my fourth Olympic Games and, you know, thinking back four years is such a long time that I feel like every Olympics I was kind of a different athlete in a way. You know, I was 15 when I was in Athens, it's just so different uh, than, than it is now. Um, so I, I definitely want to be here and, and enjoying the moment and just being appreciative that I'm still here. You know, after London I, I had a couple of weeks, almost months, and I was thinking about quitting the sport. and. You know, being here again and being in the position I am before the games is definitely great. Kachinka, let's just say one more one question. What about uh, any special preparation regarding to the times, like 1 p.m. for prelims and 10 p.m. for finals, or are you just doing a regular schedule? Uh, coming in here, uh, we basically trying to get used to that time, so we just train now like it would have been prelims, and at night we are training uh, as it will be the final time, so around 10 p.m. Um, before the games we were, we were training regularly, uh, you know, the past four years I've been traveling a lot and racing a lot and, you know, putting myself out there in different uh, racing situations, uh, so I definitely learned a lot how to handle jet lag and, and all different uh, um, external factors, so I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm ready to adjust and, and be ready for the, for the finals times and prelims as well. In 200 IM, uh, Kanako Watanabe is not competing in this Olympic. How, how do you say that? Is it for e easy for you to win or something? Uh, you know, I wish she would be there. Uh, you know, I think uh, it was great to race her in Kazan. And uh, honestly, you know, I, I, I wish a lot of fast swimming. I love fast swimming. Um, and I, you know, that excites me as well. Um, I love to watch it, I love to be in it. So I, I'm, I'm excited to, to be there. And, you know, I wish she, she could be racing as well. How is your condition right now? Is it getting better and better? Uh, I sure hope so. You know, each year we're trying to make steps forward, and and I hope I can make a step forward from last year from Kazan. Were you afraid about the Zeke and all of these kind of things that people told uh, tell on uh, the countries, USA? And... I'm not particularly afraid. Obviously, we do the precautions as we tell as they tell us to. You know. Uh, spray ourselves and such things, but uh, but other than that, um, you know, I'm excited to be here and uh, and I'm okay. focusing on the games and racing. How about your experience in Brazil right now so far? Uh, yeah, we only been here for a couple of hours. I mean, last night we came in, uh, but it's it's been great so far. This Olympic is uh, the first Olympic after you, Mary. Yes, that's right. Yes. That's First really Olympic Games as a wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> is it like, like a different thing from the last few years? Uh, it is definitely a bit different. Uh, Shane was with me in London the first time ever. Basically, he was there with me as a coach. Uh, but it's been you know, a great four years to, to re really learn a lot how to work together and, and handle each other in a different uh, situations under pressure and in a big meets. Uh, so I think the two of us are a lot more comfortable now and, and you know, we've been through a lot together. So uh, we are really excited to be here together and, you know, share the, this experience, these moments. I think you said that uh, you said that you nearly oh. considered retiring at one point. When, when exactly was that? And uh, after the Games in uh, after London, yeah. After London. And what gave you the impetus to start again? It's, you know, you've... My husband. <laughs> You're well uh, done, mate. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's crazy for me. Um, London at the time felt like a huge failure, as I said, uh, the fourth place. Uh, and Shane was the one uh, who 
told me, you know, being fourth in the world in something that's actually amazing. And why would I start throwing all those years and all the hard work away just because one race didn't go the way I wanted? Um, and that kind of, you know, put the whole games in a different perspective for me. Um, and he actually told me in London already that this fourth place might be the best thing that ever happened to you. At the time, I thought he was crazy, uh, and, and, I, and I laughed at him, but, you know, after four years, uh, it's hard to say, but he was right. He was right, <laughs> and uh, I, I learned a lot in London, and it made me really tough, uh, and it made me appreciate the sport and, and all the opportunities we have. Do you feel, it's, in a sense, the, these games are almost a kind of redemption? You know, you had that really hard time, you felt depressed about it, and... This, well, honestly, you... actually, um, after London, um, right after London, in a couple of months, all I could think about is, okay, let's do it in Rio, and all for Rio. Uh, but the past four years have been so amazing that no matter what happens in Rio, it was already awesome. True. Yeah, uh, exactly. yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I, you know, I didn't really uh, think that I'd be already, uh, how many times? 17 times? 18 times per record holder. One of them is long course. Um, and, and another four uh, world titles. So that's, that's just saying it's pretty crazy and pretty amazing for me. So honestly, I just, you know, you know, it's it might sound a bit cliche. They say that journey matters more, and it definitely has for me. Uh, so I'm happy to be here, and I'm I feel like I did everything I could the past four years to be in the best position uh, for the games. You're one of the great stars of world swimming, and this is your stage, though, to prove it. <laughs> Uh, as I said, uh, I think I'm ready and I'm excited to be here and race. Um, so we'll see how, what happens. You do like the fame that people say you are the Iron Lady. Do you like it, this kind of thing? So, of course I, of course I like it. Uh, I definitely feel like I am the Iron Lady. You know, getting uh, stepping on the block, I feel like a different person, and it, it gives me the power that now I am the Iron Lady and. You know, Katinka is staying in the village with her problems, yeah. and uh, he's the Iron Lady who is really tough, and um, you know, everyone else has to bleed to beat me. What's the reason? So, what makes you so tough? Toughness. What makes you so tough? Uh, honestly, I, I love to work hard, and I think that's if I could, would have to say what's my biggest talent, that's, that's what it is. Um, you know, I train about Nine to ten hours a day, and I haven't taken off uh, since London. So I, I, I definitely feel like uh, I did everything I could to to be tough. And one more question: um, Is the Kosuke Hagino is a very popular thing in our country, Japan? How do you think about it? <laughs> I love Hagino. I, I, I'm really excited always that he's swimming also a lot of races and. And he's definitely uh, a really tough competitor as well. And you know, he's also swimming the 4 IM and the 2 IM and all the other stuff that he's he's been racing lately. And um, I actually saw an interview with him, and he was saying that he wants to win uh, here in Rio, and that's his passion. And I, I really wish the best for him. Thank you. One final thing, just not about you, you but about Katie Ledecky, who everybody's talking about at the moment. From, from your perspective as a great all-round swimmer, what is it about her that's so extraordinary? Do you find it extraordinary? What she's well, achieving? of course. I mean, you know, uh, her, 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 her distance freestyle is just unbelievable, her, her, her swimming. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's very inspiring what she's doing. And she's, you know, always on top of her game and she's very focused. So uh, I think we should all be excited uh, to see someone like this at the Games and uh, see what she can do and how far she can push it. And a Phelps farewell. <laughs> what do you think about that? You know, he's going to be uh, amazing as well, isn't he? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he is. Uh, I, I feel like uh, they've been poking him a little bit, so I'm definitely sure that he's going to be here and uh, he's going to put himself out there. So that should be exciting to watch as well. Uh, you know, I love swimming and I love to watch swimming. And as you guys said that I have a lot of races, so I probably won't have much time. To watch, uh, unfortunately, I will have to be focusing on my swimming. But uh, even after Kazan, I went home and I literally rewatched all the races because a lot of a lot of them I couldn't watch live. So, uh, but I'm definitely excited to to see those. Best.